Hey guys, so again, this video is extremely late and I'm going to tell you why. So this weekend I went on an abseiling course and that was really, really fun. Like I absolutely loved it. I threw myself over the edge of a cliff attached to a piece of rig and it was extremely exciting and I'm in a lot of pain at the moment now because, well, I don't do much exercise and now I have done a lot and my body is yelling at me for it. So pretty much where I went was really, really pretty. Like the first day that we, the place that we went, it was sort of like really easy, like beginner, so like if you fell you didn't like extremely hurt yourself. So the walls were pretty flat and they were really easy, you know, walls. Although on the first day there was a 25 actually I don't know it was it was a really it, I felt it was really tall because I'm quite short and it was just this overhang and then nothing so pretty much if this is the rock this is literally how it went so you would stand at the top and you would lower yourself over and you'd go there and then you just sort of drop and you'd hang on the rope and you'd have to go all the way down and I was freaking out because I don't do this very often and I got very, very scared that once I got over the edge I'd just drop and get scared and fall and die. But I didn't because I was smart. No, I had a person at the bottom belaying and they were stopping me every time I freaked out. But it was okay. I did that one about three times and I really, really loved it. When I was going down I landed in a tree and had to like untangle myself from the tree and like then go down. But it was a great day. Um, on the second day we went to a place called Yellow Rock and it's like beautiful. It was so picturesque but the problem with Yellow Rock was it was like a sheer drop. Well not a sheer drop but it was it was very steep. I'm very into gesturing today. If you hadn't already abseiled down you had to walk to the bottom to belay for someone and I walked down and it's really really steep like if you fall you're gonna slide and it's gonna hurt and I was attached to the safety line via prussic cord and I like slipped and the prussic cord locked and I didn't fall but like I was sort of a bit shaken after that because if I wasn't attached to that prussic cord I was just gonna go straight down and the only things that were stopping me were like rocks and trees and ground and it wasn't gonna be fun what I did the course for was to go on this thing for um, University of New South Wales. I think it's them. I don't know. They're digging out a cave up at Wellington. Not New Zealand Wellington, like New South Wales Wellington. And what we dig out, we give to them, and they, like, analyse it and stuff and see if there's any, like, microbacteria, microorganisms. So they, like, analyse all that stuff and like, I'm going on that because I think that's a cool chance to like be part of history. I'm saying life too often. Um, <laughs> I think it's a great chance to be part of Australian history and to get into like the biology side of everything because I really love biology. But the problem is, I have a brain like a sieve. Okay, like no kidding. I have, on that weekend, an 18th, my HSC art exhibition, the Wellington Caves, a group organised to go out and I have to say yes to one of them and no to the rest. Like, I'm just, ugh. Okay, so the HSC thing I kind of have to go to or at least put my artwork up and then nick off or something. The 18th I can say no to and the group thing I can easily say no to, I think I've already said no to that. And the Wellington thing and I want to go to all of them but I can't because I am not a time lord sad face but I don't know I have like three places to put things I've got my phone my diary and a wall planner to like let me know when things are and not double book myself or quadruple book myself because this is just annoying but depending on which one I go to the next video is going to be either really late or on time because well if I'm at Wellington I can't actually go there 
and film because none of my friends actually know I run a vlog. I'm a little bit embarrassed about it because I'm like talking to myself and putting it on YouTube. It's a bit weird to be honest and like, I don't know. I don't want to look like a tourist. Oh yeah, sorry that I didn't get any photos of the cliffs. I got a few but like they were pretty dodgy because I only took them on my phone and I got really nervous because I thought people would think I was weird. Bye! That was a very scary photo face that I just pulled.